So, I'm doing another big bore kit. I put the bike back to 110 and wasn't happy with it. It had no power. I put the gearing back to stock. It would barely sit on 80Ks. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So that's the original 110. That's my first attempt at the big bore um, with the piston as they supplied. That was my second attempt at the big bore with a modified piston, lightened up, was pretty good. Now this is my third attempt and it came with this piston, which I weighed and is extremely heavy. So we won't be using that. We'll be using the piston from my second attempt and I've modified it more. I've cut it out here to match the factory one as close as I can and I've got it down to 85.35 grams with the rings on it. So it's lighter than what it was again. Also into the mix, I'm putting a camshaft. Um, it's tbparts.com. They don't sponsor me. I bought it, got it from the States. We'll see how it goes. I've also upgraded my dyno to a main line. So it's a lot better. I've got a taco pickup. Just a lot better dyno than the uh, Dyno Dynamics. Um, this is the <coughs> testing I've done so far. So the blue line is stock standard, stock gearing 110 standard exhaust. The red line is stock gearing, stock exhaust, oh sorry, stock gearing with a modified exhaust. I'll show you the exhaust I made up for it. So that's the exhaust. I'm just homemade, except for the muffler obviously. Not really happy with the sound, a bit too pit bikey for me, a bit too loud, so I'm gonna do a bit of testing with it on there, and then I'll probably pull it off and put it back to stock. Okay, the barrel's off, just there, the 110cc, head's off. I might put the cam in the head first, but you can do it in the bike. Um, clean it up and then reassemble it. Rightio, to get the rocker shafts out, you get two of the head bolts and you screw them down the guts of the rocker shafts. You pull out these two bolts here, and then these to slide out like that. Righto, the new camshaft is fitted. It's in there. Now just to show you how much more lift, I haven't adjusted the valves yet, but... A fair bit more lift without adjusting the valves. To get this out, you've got to take that bolt out. And then what I did, is just got the oxy, or blow torch, and just warmed up along here. And just warmed up along here not even probably 50 degrees so I didn't even melt the oil the cam just slid out righto bikes on the dyno it's back together 130 big ball kit the old airbox on with a hole here I've put the oil temp sensor out of the out of the actual cylinder head or barrel and just cable tied it up there to make it run richer just put a bolt in and I've got the TB parts camshaft in there. I've um, got the taco hooked up, so we'll give it a run and see what power it makes.
so I've decided to pull the TB cam out. Um, it made basically no more power and had a big dip in the middle. Um, it's extremely noisy and the valve train geometry is wrong. It's just, it changes the rocker angle because they've, they've ground the base out of the camshaft. So there's the TB cam there, it's out. Can be done in the cut in the bike, no worries. So I'll be putting the other camshaft back in, the stock camshaft, and seeing how that goes. Oh, and it does not like to idle, one little bit. Rightio, so in summary, uh, best results for the posty were TB cams, put it in the bin. Too noisy, didn't make any more power, valve geometry all wrong, not worth doing. Um, so I've gone back to the big bore, standard exhaust, and I'll just show off that exhaust. It's just too noisy for the small power gain you get up top. I'm gonna go for a dry ride tomorrow and just see how it goes.